the gun review right now. Here we go. Sunshine, lollipops, and green bows. Everything that's wonderful is what I feel when we're together. Brighter than a lucky penny when you're near the rain goes disappears, dear, and I feel so fine. <laughs> oh, be good. The plot's pretty simple, or is it? God is just chilling at the crib and he sits in a chair and takes a razor and starts cutting out his own guts and he convulses and then he eventually dies. But then Mother Earth comes out of his remains and then impregnates herself with his semen and then she gives birth to the Son of God. At which point the Son of God is beaten, cannibalized, and tortured relentlessly for pretty much the rest of the movie. And you have to piece together the plot just based on the credits which gives character names such as God killing himself. So now you see why all those death metal bands get a boner for this movie and like to feature it in their music videos. So this movie came out in 1990, but it really could have been made at any time. There's no discernible settings, and it really just adds to the film's obscurity. There are no famous actors in this movie, there's no dialogue, there's no straightforward plot, and there's definitely no explanation as to what's going on. The movie's shot in this very original, strange style of black and white, where there's little or no color separation between the two, and... In the same shot, depending on the lighting and the angle, something will change from white to black or black to white, all in the same shot. Quite often, and intentionally so, what's actually taking place on screen is unclear, uh, and you'll find yourself at certain parts of the film saying, what is this going on here? Oh my god! Oh, that's, that's horrible! The director definitely chose an aesthetic that he was going to run with for the rest of the film. Not just the black and white stuff, but there's also weird uh, superimposition techniques, uh, frames will be slowed down for certain scenes, and there's a lot of dissolves. As far as the soundtrack goes, it's very minimal. There's a lot of uh, sound effects taking place in the background while horrible things are going on screen, such as birds chirping, and bug noises, and cloth flapping in the wind, and fire crackling. I find that to be a lot creepier than actually hearing someone scream in pain while this is taking place. But ever so often, this very pleasant ambient synth music will just come in one theme I picked up on in this movie is Rebirth. Uh, the main character, the Son of God, keeps dying over and over again, yet lives on. Any sort of hinting at historical or religious imagery is really open to interpretation, just like everything else in this movie. Now, I'm not sure, but I think with about ten minutes left in the film, you can actually see for one second uh, the Son of God's organs, and one of the nomads who's torturing him has two slices of bread. So I just want to say, this shit right here is experimental film. No holds barred, this is the real thing. The, the whole black and white aesthetic thing, the minimal soundtrack is very admirable in my book. There's a few shots in particular that I think were well executed, such as when you see the Son of God writhing in pain and crawling around and collapsing on what appears to be a beach. We're not given any explanation as to why all this stuff is happening, which I suppose isn't a bad thing considering the type of movie it is, but I think it'll definitely affect your enjoyment and attachment to the film. The movie starts out really well uh, until about 15 or 20 minutes in when the movie starts to slow its pace up and there's several scenes where it's like, all right, it's getting tortured relentlessly. It's horrible. I get it. Let's go. To the movie's credit, the pace really picks up in the last half hour or so where some of the most disturbing stuff is. However, I think the movie could have done with a little bit of cutting. Yeah. Yeah. Cutting. Yeah. Yeah. Begotten is truly an original film. You'll never hear anyone say, Begotten, oh yeah, that movie was alright. You know, you either love it or hate it. However, you might hear from some people that it wasn't even about anything. Hey man, this movie was stupid. It wasn't about anything. But that's just not true. We're pushed off into the woods to fend for ourselves for a soul-crushing experience. In fact, anyone who sits and watches this whole movie all the way through without vomiting onto their own screen is a winner in my book. That's why I'm giving Begotten 8 out of 10. Watch it with your friends, or better yet, show it to someone you really don't like. Well, that's about it. I gotta go take care of some business, but uh, check you later and stay sexy, won't you? Sunshine, lollipops, and green bows, everything that...